Once you've placed major pieces of furniture in your plan, you're asked to trace major traffic paths. A major traffic path shows um, how you would need to walk from one space to another and flow through your floor plan, including to um, any entrances and exits. So basically what you're going to do is go to the insert menu and go to shapes and for the first thing we're going to use the scribble tool. Okay, start at the front door and basically you're going to just um, click and hold and then trace to the best of your ability a path around your furniture and in this case I'm going to go to the outdoor patio. Okay, You're probably going to get a thin black line and you're asked to have a fairly thick blue line. So you can see this is selected because it has handles around it. So what you want to do is go to the shape outline and then choose blue, a bright blue, okay? Then go back under shape outline to weight and I would go down to probably a two and two and a quarter point here. So now we've got a nice uh, bold blue line. Okay, while you're still selecting this, right click on it and go to set auto shape defaults. Okay, nothing will happen, but you'll see that when we go back to the tool, which is now it appears here, as long as you have something selected, this toolbar will be here. Otherwise, you'll no, need to go back to insert shape, but go to the scribble tool. And now we can continue and branch off of here and say, okay, the other option might be that we would go into this uh, family room area. And actually, there's another entrance to the patio here. Okay, and, uh, and then you just keep going back to the tool because you'll see that now you're drawing with a nice bold blue line and you just want to flow through, you know, to each of the areas through the kitchen and into here. And you want to make sure that you branch into the garage. So you'll just need to keep going back and selecting the scribble tool and branching into the garage, branching into the laundry room, the bathrooms, and so forth. All you need to do is get yourself into each and every space in here and you'll see that all of that is necessary for you to flow through the plan. Um, the last thing you're asked to do is to orient the house. So I want you to think in terms of if you could place this on a lot in any direction that you wanted, where would east be? East would be where the sun comes up um, and rises in the morning. And then um, the, the p.m., the afternoon or late sun that would be very strong and hot, especially in Arizona, you probably wouldn't want to have to deal with as much as possible. So in my mind, um, I'm looking for a straight line. So now in this case, what you're going to need to do is look for the line tool, okay? because that'll give you a straight line. And I'm thinking, well, I wouldn't mind morning sun in the master bedroom and then maybe late afternoon sun, um, if it's on the garage, it's not going to heat up part of the house I'm in at that time. So I'm just simply going to draw a line and click and hold and just draw a line and you're going to get a straight line and it's going to show the path of the sun. Uh, then I'm going to go and say, okay, this is where morning would be, uh, this is where late afternoon would be, and this would be where noon would be, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Now, it's asking you to do a bold red line, so all you do is select that line. Once it's selected, you can, um, now in this case, I'm going to have to double click on it, okay, in order to get back to this toolbar. I can go to Shape Outline and I can select red, okay? And if you want to be really picky, but it's not necessary, once it's selected, um, the other thing you can do um, is you can see over here it says bring to the front, send to the back. We want to send that line behind the symbols for AM, PM, and noon so that the line doesn't go through them. And basically, um, that pretty much takes care of that portion. You're going to need to write an explanation of where that, uh, why you're doing what you're doing and explaining some of the good and bad features of the plan. Um, but other than that, everything is explained in the plan analysis sheet.